Hello and welcome. I'm super excited with this video for you guys today as I'm introducing a brand new capability now available in Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. It's called Editable. It's a solution brought to you by InfoRiver and its parent company, Lumel. If you want to start your editable journey, what you need to do is you can go to either InfoRiver.com or you could go to Lumel.com and then kind of start um, your journey there. Your first question is, well, you're super excited, but what does Editable actually do? And if you have computer science background, if you are a seasoned IT professional, you're familiar with challenges presented to us by master data management, master data management needs, and specifically in a self-service use case. If you have a business background, if you're more of an analyst or a power user, let me frame up the problem for you in just a couple of in a couple of minutes. So basically, let's say you've built this amazing sales dashboard and you're able to analyze your sales performance by sales team across multiple products and customers. But let's say you're going through a planning exercise and you would like to add new customers, you'd like to add new products, you have new team members that you would like to maintain on your own, and or you may want to add some custom attributes. You want to maybe implement custom rollups and other things and you want to do it in such a way where you are in charge of the entire process. You don't have to go to IT and have them make those changes. Well, now with Editable, this use case is fully supported right in your Power BI report. So once you have Editable installed and you've gotten your custom visual, you just load it on your page like a normal custom visual and now you're ready to get going. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this report just a little bit and Let's see what it takes for us to get our hands on some of our master data in Power BI. So right off the bat, we have two options. We can either create our own custom table, if we have it already available in, let's say, Excel or CSV, or in our case, we will be connecting to an existing table. And the way we're going to get this going is we're going to create a direct query connection from Power BI desktop to our data source. And then all we need to do is start adding our attributes from the table right to the visual. So I'm gonna add my product ID, and that's gonna be my primary key. We're gonna add our product name. We're gonna add category. We're gonna add subcategory, and we're gonna get our brand. Coincidentally, that's exactly the product table that we use in our sales accelerator. Now that our table is set up, now sometimes what you want to pay attention is you want to make sure that you have the right column in the primary key field. So make sure that your ID column, ID field goes there. So once you have that already set up and you can kind of see the, 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 the columns showing up here, there's a couple of configuration steps that are required. The first thing is we need to configure our write back. So what you need to do is you're gonna click on configure source and that's gonna take you into the wizard that we'll have to walk through in order to specify where your data is located. In our case, it's in Azure SQL and you just have to answer all the questions, login, passwords, host name and other things that are specific to your selected desired data source. And once you've gone that, you're gonna get to the next step. I will skip that step in the recording and then let's uh, look at what happens after. So after you are done going through the wizard and you can always go back and take a look at your, your settings there, you are able to then start your um, usage of the tool. So what are you able to do? So this tool is actually quite sophisticated. Number one, if you have a lot of records, you would use pagination at the bottom of the report. You would auto align everything to make sure that you could see everything well. The tool supports some of the advanced use cases such as security, approvals, things like this. We're not gonna get too much into this for this video because I wanna keep this short, but it's a, it's a true enterprise grade capability that they're available in this tool. And you could do pretty robust, pretty robust master data management. So what can you do in this tool? Well, you can set up, obviously you can add new rows, you can add multiple rows. You can click on import and actually download an Excel or CSV file. So if you already, if you just want to up bulk upload, that's a really neat way to do these things. 
The tool allows you to do a replace. So if you have to do a mass replace across a bunch of columns, you could do that. And that comes in handy because we have kind of this functionality in Excel. If you have a huge table, you're able to filter. For example, I want to filter something by brand. Then it's just going to give you a list of all of the brands that I've just selected. Right. So that's super helpful. You can um, manage columns here. So this is where you set up your rules. So in my case, what I want to do is I already have all of the brands available and I don't want my users to be able to add new brands, in which case I'm going to select input type single select and I set, go through the setup to make sure that only existing brands are available. So there is several ways to implement that lookup capability. So basically it's super handy tool that allows me to make sure that the quality of my the quality of my data as people make changes is pretty high. So in this case, all I want them to be able to do is add the product name. Um, in my case, they can also add product ID, but normally that would be auto generated for you. And, um, and also what, what you can do is you can click on audit and then you could see transaction logs. So that'll tell you what's changed and you could kind of keep track of all of the changes. And then you can also add last updated details so you could see which columns were changed when. So that's super nifty. And then you also are, you are able to create comments and you have the whole collaboration right here in this tool. And you are also, so like I've made a bunch of changes. Now I'm gonna, so you can see that I've changed two records. You can see that at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, hit proceed. And now all of my changes are being right back right into my database. So if I have a, situation where I would like to be able to do some sort of planning or real-time dashboards, new products come in. You know, for example, you have exception management use case where there is a sales order for a product that you don't have in the system yet. You might use a tool like this to react to those exceptions, add new products, and make sure that you, your order system works without many major interruptions. As I said, I want to keep this video nice and, sh and short. We will do a deep dive. Probably there's going to be a series of videos about all the new and awesome stuff that's coming out of Info River in, in Lumel uh, in order to support your finance, write back, forecasting, planning use cases. So there is no planning and forecasting without having to deal with dimensions, with master data, product, customer, and so forth. And in Power BI today, uh, this is the first and an amazing tool. And actually the tool is uh, in, even in, a, in a version one and V1, it's already amazing. It, it has all of the capabilities that will get you on a robust master data management, but also CPM, uh, CPM corporate performance management solution. So congratulations to Lumel and InfoRiver, an amazing product. And I'm looking forward to how this will evolve in the future iterations. If you guys have any questions about the tool, if you're trying to sort out what is the best way to implement planning and forecasting solutions using Microsoft Power BI and Fabric platform, you can always reach out to us at obvians.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you found this useful, we would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will see you soon on the next one.